Who are you? Maureen, remember? If that's too hard, maybe you should just stick with Mo. Do you have a last name? I prefer not to use it. What about you? Same deal. Then it's Ben and Mo forever, I guess. This an authorized Corley Service Center. Now you could call this a Corley Service Center. But I don't have the official paperwork. Ah, an illegitimate Corley operation. I prefer to think of it as a renegade Corley operation. Where'd you learn bikes? I grew up working on them with my dad. One summer we did nothing but restore this old hard tail together. I mean, we scrubbed every bolt until it shined. But he took off one day and he never came back. So I switched to toasters. You live in this town? Well, Melonweed's not much of a town. What's left of it is sinking about a foot a year. People either learn to adjust or they leave, which is fine with me. Not a people person? I'm just better with toasters, that's all. You seem more concerned with me than your bike. How's it look? It looks better than it did, but you gotta help me out. The front forks are wasted, so you'll have to get some new ones. And someone stole my welding torch. Can you believe that? I can't finish without one. And last but not least, I patched up your ruptured gas tank, but you're out of fuel and I don't have any. Where am I supposed to find all this stuff? You can hack it, tough guy. Where am I gonna find new forks? Well, they don't have to be new-new, just not broken into little pieces. You could start by asking Todd in the trailer across the way. He runs the junkyard. How am I supposed to find your torch? I don't know. Set up a dragnet. Still can't believe someone would steal my torch. Who around here would do a thing like that? Where's the gas? Well, there's a whole tower full of it at the edge of town. I have this crazy, irrational intuition that tells me maybe it's worth checking out. Actually, I think I can handle it. Good. I gotta get out of this town, fast. Trouble with the law? Not in this county. Then what's the hurry? My gang's in trouble. Polecats? How'd you know that? Big emblem on the back of your jacket. They're headed for an ambush, so I gotta catch them. We better get this bad boy back on the road then, huh? I don't have any money to pay you with. Hey, this one's free. I haven't touched anything besides a toaster for so long. Getting my hands on your hog has really been a pleasure. Well, thanks. Don't sweat it. Well, I'll let you get back to work. Let me know if you need any aspirin or anything. Who's this? Oh, that's me and my Uncle Pete. He took care of me after Dad split at this place he called the Mink Ranch. When he died, he left it to me. You're a mink farmer? 
Nah, that place went belly up long before he died. But I still go back there whenever I need to get away for a while. Oh, good, you're not dead yet. I might still get a quote. I heard you saved my life. Yeah, but don't worry. I wasn't trying to. I was just looking for some nice roadside disaster photos and you helped. Who'd want a picture of me bleeding? It's not the blood. It's the way you were, all twisted up like a pretzel. Listen, I've got to stop an ambush. Ambush? Really? Where? I don't know exactly. My crew is escorting some VIPs to the Corley Motors shareholders meeting. And there's an ambush waiting for them somewhere up the road. Uh, I, I... Yeah? This is hard for me, I, I need... Come on, man, spit it out! Could you give me a ride in your car? I've got to stop this ambush. You're right. We have to get to the ambush, all right. But I'm afraid I'm without wheels at the moment. How did you get us here? Hitched. Well, I'd better be going. All right, drive safe now. It's empty. Thanks for the lift. Now I got a quote for you. It's even sadder looking inside. Who's out there? Hey! I'm trying to do my art in here, buddy. I don't got time to waste on bums like you. I'm a friend of Moe's. I need... Listen, I didn't take no welding torch. You hear me? I'm no crook. So get off my back already. What do you want? This is important. Not to me, you freaky looking hood. Now beat it! I got a guy coming to look at my yard, so blow! Let me in. <laughs> Good one, punk. You knock for a reason or you just nuts? This view defines true beauty. I hope he's not trying to bring these to life or anything like that. Ouch.
I had a dog with a funnel on its head when I was a kid. I thank the Lord each day for the apocalypse. <clears throat> That's my welding torch. How'd you get it? Oh, it was just lying around. A pair of forks, a little gas, and we're set. seen him running from the air. He must be hiding up in the tower. We got him treed. Let's go up and get him. Say that's where the gas goes. Hey, who's that down there in the yard? It's him. Get him. Where? Over there. Quick. You go around the other side and we'll have him cornered. Where'd he go? Let's call it quits, huh, boss? No. Let's call on reinforcements. Good. You get this from the gas tower? Not exactly. Just a pair of new forks and we're on the road. Open up, Todd.
Here, Poochie Pooch. Pooch. Nice forks. Where'd you find them? Right next to the knives and spoons. Well, that's it. Wait outside for a minute and I'll finish her up. I'm working on a surprise. I hate surprises. All right, here she comes! I feel or what? You're amazing. I should crash that thing every day. So what's the surprise? Oh, just your average everyday pre-regulation destroyer class solid fuel recoil booster. You're serious? Yes. But only the vultures. I have my connections. Now, are you gonna try this thing out or not? Ooh, we wish I had a camera. I wish I had some way of paying you back. Just beat it, will ya? You're scaring away my regular customers. Bye, Mo. Send me a postcard from the ambush. Ben, how'd you get behind us? Where are the suits? Corley's making a pit stop. He has a bladder the size of a thimble, man. Ripburger? Haven't seen him in a while. Ben, man, what's the deal? Did you find something up the road? 
Are we headed for trouble? No. We're in it. Put my head in a basket, cause I'd had a tank full. When she blew my gasket, I surely was thankful. Till I head for the skies up above. It's a woman with wheels that I love. Yeah. Come on, old man. I gotcha. Now, do something incriminating, like ambush somebody. Aha, the plot thickens. You shouldn't have laughed at me in those board meetings, Malcolm. What a psycho. Gotcha. Hey, look what I found in the bushes. What is that? It's a chokehold. Come here and I'll demonstrate. It's got a camera. I'll get her. No. Nestor will take care of her. You have an important engagement with the rest of the Corley family. Right. But don't forget to destroy that camera. Yeah, yeah. Now then, Malcolm. How about one for the road? Corley? Corley? Ben! <coughs> I guess Rip Berger couldn't wait for natural causes. Just like him to hit a man when his flies down. <coughs> Rip Berger did this to you? Yeah, he knew I was dying. And he knew that my will would put him out of a job. He wants to take over Corley Motors, Ben. Sell it off the foreigners, lay off workers, start making minivans. You understand me? Minivans! Oh. <coughs> you gotta hurt him for me, Ben. Promise me you'll hurt him bad. I promise you. <coughs> I want my daughter to take over the company. You have a daughter? Yeah! And she's a real mechanical genius, Ben. Rebuilt the first carburetor when she was four. Eh, I used to call her the diaper dynamo. <coughs> Find my daughter, Ben. Find Maureen. Maureen? Burger's way ahead of me. I just hope Maureen can handle herself until I get there. Hmm. Gun, I understand. Why'd he bring a camera? Who does this guy work for? Corley Motors? <laughs> Nestor, what's that moving over there by that pile? I don't know, Rick, but I think that pile is bullets. <sighs> yes. Now I remember. You're the smart one, aren't you? There's Moe's shack, but I don't see the memo. Maybe I beat them here. On second thought, maybe I didn't.